Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's video where we're going to be going over a little bit of everything. We're going to be going over from the highs to the lows to the Bitcoin all-time highs to the car crash all-time lows. Um, you know, I just want to go over this video. It's not really planned as such. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to say, but it's going to be a I want to pass on some or just talk about what I have learned and hopefully this can maybe benefit someone or you know I'm just going to talk about my experiences really um so I hope that you enjoy and um yeah let's just get into the video then so yeah you, you may maybe you don't like this video it's going to be me rambling on for I don't know how long 10-15 minutes I suppose um but there are some things that I'd like to focus on um and try and bring this to a technical perspective i suppose i don't really know um i guess the first thing i, I want to talk about is um i want to i want to talk about the car crash that i had and um you know how every second that we are walking is a good day you know every every day above ground is a good day i feel the expression is if you don't know what we're what i'm talking about here this is obviously in reference to the um yeah the crash that i had on well this was on the well, 10th of december i don't know yeah about 10 days ago now um and obviously how i managed to walk out of this and you know well you can see it, I'm, I'm i'm really really good now um had glass that got trapped deep under my skin on my arm my leg a little bit on this area and um you know you have operations to remove the glass and you know everything i just feel walking out of this was extremely lucky extremely extremely lucky it could have been well literally it could have been so much worse i could have broken my back i could have died um you know it was it was still very fortunate and uh and i think for me it's like a massive reflection of wow like you truly 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 have to appreciate every single second that you are here and and it can't it, it i don't know really what i want to say it's it's kind of like just wow like life can change in a second so i just feel it just highlights and emphasizes so much of why you have to live every day well not live every day as if it's your last you know you don't want to go around every day doing crazy things but live every day in appreciation don't focus on the negativity you know i feel 2020 for me has been a bit of a roller coaster year almost with um you know towards the start of the year obviously uh, i went through periods of mass trolling and hate and you know but i'm so happy that that happened because i totally learned from it i feel that i grew as a person and i and i feel you know you don't want to focus on the negativity I, I feel especially you know you you can see this in daily life you know you go go around daily life and you'll see 2020s full of stories of oh there's been this many deaths today or this is going on you know there's so much hate or there's so much focus on the negativity i suppose that's you can it can easily if you focus on it weigh out the good things that are happening and i feel that what i have personally learned this year is don't focus at all on the negative things if you focus on the negative in the world it's going to drag you down you know if i'm going through you know if i spend my days looking at the news i'm probably going to end the day pretty depressed <laughs> to be honest but what i would prefer to do is focus my energy on the positivity okay for me personally obviously that's that's running chart champions you know it's getting the positive reactions of people every day saying you know they're absolutely loving trading um you know th this this personally is you know it gets me through the days you know it's what i do every day now and i really enjoy it and i just feel that you have to yeah block block try your best to block out all the negative things that are going and focus on the positivity um i found it pretty funny when i look back on it now yes it was the 10th of december this this was the the morning before my car crash and it was pretty when i when i look at it now it's pretty funny but um in the morning uh on the 10th of december you can watch back this video if you'd like it was me talking about uh, a trade and it was a trade that i lost and um the title of the video was everybody falls the only difference is champions get up and then um you know during this video i was talking about how i had took a hit on my account 
went down to around four hundred and eighty thousand dollars and uh, my target was obviously to hit five hundred thousand dollars before christmas i said it was it was still achievable for me I feel that i'm gonna do it um and then obviously later that day i have the car crash so what we could say is everybody falls not only in trading but in life uh you know i definitely took a hit on life and i walked out of this uh head held high well literally <laughs> literally i walked out of the car crash you know i got out of the car and just walked obviously i went to hospital but you know so everybody falls not just in the markets uh people get liquidated every day people blow up their accounts people take hits on their accounts you know but the difference between a loser okay who's gonna have the mentality you know of oh, i've just hit, took a hit on my account i'm gonna revenge trade i'm gonna take a stupid trade uh, I've just liquidated my account. I'll put more in and I'll gamble it away, you know. And then there's going to be the champion that approaches this. Okay, I've, I've took a loss. Literally, lo losing is part of trading. If you follow someone that, that thinks they have a 100% win rate, it's it's just not true. It's just truly not true. You cannot, you just cannot have a 100% win rate in trading. It is part of the game to take a losses. And you've got, um, you got to learn from those losses. You've got to learn from those experiences and you got and you got to come out stronger. You know, you truly, truly just have to come out stronger. Did I, did I put a quote in this? Yeah, I did. Um, champions realize that defeat and learning from it is even more than from winning. It's part of the path to mastery. So what we talk, what I talk about this is you cannot expect to come, you cannot expect to become an expert or a master in, in your chosen field if you do not go through struggles. You know, you can't go from nothing to the best with, with not taking in experiences along the journey. You know, experiences are part of making life, making yourself stronger in that field, you know. So you got to take these learning curves, I suppose, you know. And, and, I, and I truly also feel that you can never expect to be the master of something, you know. You're always learning. Even, even the best is always improving. And if you reach a level of complacency, if you reach a level where you think, right, I'm the best then that's when you're going to start to lose. To be honest, you know, you, you always have to be learning. You always have to be improving. And this is not just talking about the trading. This is everything. Um, but yeah, for me, it was it was an experience, I suppose. Uh, not only have I learned um, <laughs> to, to, I don't know, not only have I learned, I suppose, that driving is, is probably pretty, it's pretty dangerous if you're not careful. But also um, just the fact that I've come out of it and I feel I've come out of it literally like I'm saying here. The only champions is champions get up. Champions are going to continue the path. You know, we are going to continue to greatness. And, you know, what I found brilliant was this was then on the 7th. So one week later, one week later, obviously turned that around. Oh, yeah. Oops, didn't try and have that on volume. Obviously turned that around, walked out with that. Well, this in the end that ended on over $100,000 because obviously we retraced here. We bounced off the view app and we got a, we got another bounce to the upside. Okay. So what, what I was all about was taking the loss, turning that into a great win. And this is a trade that I'm in at the moment, but it's just ignore that for a second. And now my account sits on $620,000. So my target for myself, of hitting 500 grand well, has been has, has been beaten because well now i sit on six hundred twenty thousand dollars, and that encompasses champions fall the only difference you know, everybody falls the only difference is champions get back up if i had fallen this day took the loss on my account revenge trader took another loss revenge trader took another loss if i had had my car crashing given up well i'd be sat where i was last week or lower but instead I got back up, I come back over to the charts, go on, I take an extremely amazing trade. That's, you know, this is an extremely good trade. And now I sit on my account nearly $620,000, you know. Um, so that really encompasses what, you know, you just cannot give up in life. You, you're going you're gonna to take hits. Everybody's going to take hits. Everybody's going to fall down. You're going you're gonna to go through life, you know, you're going to see, you know, when I think about it, this, this, you know, this year has been, you know, my dad died that was a big hit for me this year but you celebrate you almost you have to celebrate the good times you have to think of the good times you know if, if i had gone through in depression for the rest of you know you just can't you just can't do that you just have to think of what was the good you know instead of thinking you know i'm, I'm being pretty open here but instead of thinking and, and i understand everybody's 
different you know my experiences are not going to be for everybody but if i had went through the rest of the year thinking oh my god my dad's dead what am i going to do i can't can't do anything and just almost given up well that's not what he would have wanted i know that for a fact you know you gotta you gotta think okay that we had some really good times let's focus on the good times and now let's celebrate the successes and move on for greater and better things and um you know it's just this case of going for the best be the best of what you can be and be just this extremely positive helpful loving person that's what we got to do that you know that's what i want to do and i think uh in a in a environment where social you know i i honestly i really don't like social media uh obviously this year i also got banned off of twitter but i can tell you for an absolute fact getting banned off of twitter was so nice because twitter in my experience was so it's just an it's just a place which i don't feel is going to be very beneficial to your overall um overall what's the right word here i want to say progress but it's not the right word but i'm just going to overall progress of being a good person i don't feel that twitter is really going to benefit or bring out the best in somebody so it's almost like you know i was spending time on that and now that time i can you know i'm using better use of my time you know i'm not spending it tweeting out things anymore um so you know i feel social media though the whole the whole view of social media this you know i i, I honestly you know things like tiktok i cannot stand it i i just you know this is oh, this is off on a random tangent but think you know tiktok you know the, you know i just feel that these sort of things I, I, i'm probably sounding like a really old guy but i just don't get it i just don't get why people want to go on these things and just start doing dance moves and um you know going up to just the whole it's, it's all fake i just feel that it's really 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 fake people live out these lives on social media and you just you just i'm just thinking what is going on here you know um i i, I don't really know what to say but i just i guess i just don't really understand the whole tiktok and living out these you know living their life through pictures and instagram you know nobody really experiences i suppose things anymore and it's all just for it's all just for a show um i don't know it baffles it really baffles me <laughs> but um yeah I, I don't know uh but anyway where i wanted to i guess why well, i'll try and wrap this video up 12 minutes yeah i'll try and wrap this up i suppose i don't really know if there was the purpose of this video if i'm honest oh yeah i did wanted i would just want to talk you through this 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 was pretty interesting i suppose this was on the 17th so now we're on the 20th and again we just hit all-time highs again yesterday so we did rise from this um and I was talking about the shorts are crazy. Again, spot trading over futures. I wouldn't think of a swing failure pattern. I'd think of buying the dip. You know, it's kind of like this with trading. You know, everybody's like, I want to short a high, I want to short a high, I want to short a high. It's just like, come on, we're in all-time highs. You know, let's think of buying the dip. And I say that while obviously in a short position. This is a, this is a really quick trade. You know, this is a day trade. I've still got swing longs open. Let's not forget this. This, this is, you know, don't worry about it. But what I'm saying here is, um, this is what I want to do. What? You know, because everybody was talking about the 17th of December, you know, 17th of December has had crashes and crashes and, you know, there's been drops in the market on the 17th of December off of Bitcoin. And I'm, what I'm saying here is, um, what if the 17th of December is a crash? What if I move a, the, the, miss the move to $50,000 Bitcoin price? What if there's a swing failure pattern? What if we lose the view app? That is think instead of thinking about the, all these what ifs of things that might not even happen things that you know the, the, the 17th was a trend that was going around on twitter and youtube of people saying that the 17th is a crash cycle it's just like what you know instead of thinking all these things about what is no <laughs> i can't even speak man it's, <laughs> this is good video i'm not gonna edit it out I'm, I'm just gonna go in one take but instead of thinking about all these what ifs Oh, what if this happens? Or oh, what if that happens? Or oh, what if I hadn't done this? Think about what is happening that I can trade with the data I got. So instead of thinking to myself, oh, what if we move down for a swing for a pound? What if we crash here? You know, what I'm going to be doing is trading with what is. What is happening right now with the data I've got on the chart? What is the next best trade I can take? Okay. I repeat Tom Jones. Exactly. Stop thinking about possible shorting, uh, you know, and just trade the chart, which is extremely bullish. Block the news and start making money. Amen. A champion 
doesn't focus on the hypothetical or what might happen or what others are thinking. They focus on their own game to be the best with what they have right now. Literally, all these other things don't matter. Yes, it might be helpful to think about it from time to time, but we are day trading. It literally makes zero difference to the money we put on the line. And then finally here, I say, this also applies to what if I had long $19,000? What if I'd done this yesterday? What if I didn't go to sleep early and subsequently missed the move? We cannot change the past, but we can change the future. Every day the clock resets. Your wins don't matter. Your failures don't matter. Do not stress on what was. Fight for what could be right now on the next trade. I want to emphasize this point because people missed the move from all-time highs. So what? You know, so what? You missed the move. If, if you focus on missing the move, you know, people missed it. It doesn't matter. You know, if I had missed the move, it doesn't matter. You know, don't focus on missing the move. Don't focus on taking a bad trade. Focus on the next best trade. Because guess what? If you had missed the move through 20K to all-time highs, could have longed the next dip. And let me show you this. You literally had really perfect bounces, okay? You had the next dip on, onto support where you got a bounce. And this bounce off of that pullback was for another 6%, okay? I could talk you through a few more other trades that I took. And uh, this was a trade from, this would have been Friday, uh, Friday or Thursday. And basically, I took a trade in the group. And it was off of a descending triangle. And this is one that I want to talk you through really briefly. But it was off of this. Okay. I identified that this was a descending triangle that we had. Okay. And I was buying here on the 18th of December at the very lows of it. Okay. Nobody was feeling bullish down at those lows. Everybody was either expecting that low to be taken for a swing failure pattern, or they were just expecting for a bigger pullback. Again, it's hard to remember this. Crypto changes fast. We're now on the 20th. But a few days ago when we were dropping here, not many people were bullish. Okay, we were dropping quick and people turned bearish quickly. But what I was doing here is I was entering into longs and it was a you know pretty big long and it was under the thought process of, okay, we've got a descending triangle. We're in a massive uptrend. It's probably going to bring to the upside. Um, but what, where I'm going with this is the trades to be had. If I had, you know, if I had missed the move and I'm thinking to myself, oh, I've missed the move. I, you know, I've missed trading all-time highs. Oh, I'm so depressed. Oh, what am I going to do? Or even if I've taken a short, oh, I've taken a short of all-time highs. I'm so stupid. I'm so dumb. I can't trade. Trading is not for me. You know, all these sort of things. What use is that to anybody? Oh, the exchange was lagging. I missed the move because it's the exchanger's fault. You know, all these things that people say, somebody always has to blame it on somebody else. It's never their fault. You know, instead of blaming things on other people, blame yourself and change. <laughs> Make a change. Why did you miss the trade? Why did the, you know, why did these things happen? If you approach something in a negative way of thinking to yourself, I can't trade. Trading's not for me. You know, trading's for everybody. Um, you know, literally anybody can trade. Doesn't mean they're going to be good at it, but everybody can trade. But what? what's the difference between, in my opinion, what's the difference between someone that cannot trade and somebody that can trade? It's not really the, it's not really such an emphasis on the technicals. Obviously, yeah, the technicals are great, but the, the emotional side of it is the biggest drawdown for many people. They, they don't approach it in the right fashion. You know, they don't approach this with the right mindset. You know, mindset is everything. If you approach life in general with the mindset of, you know, the world is against you. Uh, you can't succeed. You can't do this. You can't do that. You're going to fail. You know, why Why try? Why try? But if you approach this with a champion mindset, if you wake up every day thinking, I've got this, I'm going to do well, and I'm going to crush these charts, mindset is everything. Straight away, if I take a loss, and instead of approaching the loss in a way of thinking, oh, I lost the trade. I'm a rubbish at trading. I need. I give up. I can't do this. You know, my vocabulary does not include the word give up. My vocabulary would include the word, okay, I've taken a loss. Let's learn from this. You know, it's an experience that I don't want to repeat again. I crashed, I crashed my car. I don't want to repeat that experience again. Okay. 
I, so I'm, I'm going to change the way that I drive, try drive different cars. You know, I'm learning from it. You know, I took a loss last week on Bitcoin while we were down around here. I can't remember what the trade was now, honestly. I can't remember it. But when I was making this video on the 10th, I took, I took a, you know, it was, it was, I was looking to long the dip and I long too early. I accidentally closed out. I don't know. It, it was something that I learned from of being careful, <laughs> being careful when I'm entering my, entering my numbers. You know, it was just, it was just a mistake at the end of the day. But I, I learned from it. You know, every loss you can learn from. Every, every experience you can learn from. Don't focus on the, oh, I can't do this, but focus on the, I can do this. What is happening now? What can I use from this data? You know, and surround yourself with the positivity. You know, don't surround yourself with negativity, negative thoughts. You know, people around you empower you. And, um, you know, if your friendship group, I don't know, if your community, I don't know if you're in another community of traders, if you're in a negative community, you, you're going to fail. Whereas what you want to do is you want to empower yourself by being around others that are successful. You know, this is one of the things I've learned myself. That if you really want to be successful, you have to surround yourself with people that are more successful than you. I truly feel that that's, that's something that I also have learned throughout this year. That instead of thinking you're the best, find someone that's better than you and surround yourself with them. And this is not just talking about training. This is talking about other aspects in life. You know, if I want to be successful in something i've learned actually um you know for example this is a random example but i wanted to improve my presentation skills and i, I hope the champions can, can see that in the way that i've improved my keynote speaking you know but if i had tried to learn myself how to be a good keynote speaker you know i probably could have done it maybe it would have taken a year you know a few years i don't know i would have got there eventually i'm sure because i love to teach myself to be honest but instead of thinking to myself you know I want to be good at keynote speaking. I'll try and learn it myself, but then I'm trying to manage so many things at the time. It's not really a great use of my time. So instead, I paid someone 70 grand a year to teach me how to, you know, to basically mentor me to be a better keynote speaker. And that includes my presentation speaking, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And this is coming from a really successful person. And, you know, and some people might say to me, oh, Daniel, you spent 70 grand on, uh, you know, you spent 70 grand on, on a keynote speaking. You're so stupid. You know, but that's I think that's the wrong way to approach it. But nevertheless, I, what I'm trying to say here is I'm, I'm, I'm surrounding myself with successful people. I'm surrounding myself with people that are doing really well. And that empowers me to want to do well as well. Whereas if I was surrounding myself with negativity if i'm surrounding myself with people that think you know just have negative thoughts oh you can't do this you can't do that you know don't do this it's too risky it's too dangerous it's too this it's too that or you know just don't want it in my life i just don't want that in my life you know so yeah um i don't know that that's where i'm going to wrap up the video way longer than what i thought uh i, I did warn you it was going to be me rambling on um i just i just wanted to speak i suppose i just wanted to speak um and yeah, that, that's what I'm going to wrap it up with. Uh, I hope that these thoughts, I, I feel the, these thoughts helped. Be, oh no, the, yeah, well, we missed it. You know, the thoughts I was on about with the what ifs. So we'll load it up again with the what ifs. What if? Don't go life around like this, thinking what ifs. Go around in life thinking what is, what's the next best trade? If you miss the trades, who cares? There's another trade every single day. Literally, <laughs> there's another trade every single day. Um don't focus on the negativity in life try and focus on the positivity try your hardest uh surround yourself with positivity surround yourself with good people and um you know 20 2021 it, it can only be better you know every every day can only be better um you know fight for your goals fight for your dreams as, as cliche as that might sound um you know you gotta if you if you don't <laughs> if you don't fight for your dreams and goals no, no, nobody else is going to do it for you you know, you, nobody else, if you don't believe in yourself, nobody's going to believe in you. So you got to make that first step of believing in yourself, fighting for those goals, and then others around you are going to help you. And this is one final thing that I will end with. If you focus as well on, on, on seeing somebody and being jealous or seeing something and thinking, I don't like that, you're also going to self-consciously be not being your best self. Whereas if you celebrate other people's successes, if you celebrate other people doing well and you help them, I feel you also will be helping yourself. So it's like a, I don't know the right word, but I just feel 
helping others and help help yourself help you know just life life can be life can be as good as you make it um myself i'm happy to be here i'm happy to be alive i want to say thank you ever so much for all the comments uh you know i'm really sorry but the, the, the amount of dms that i receive I, it's just really 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 hard for me to get through all the dms um but thank you so much for everybody that has sent messages honestly it means a lot i obviously read all the comments on the youtube that's all uh very nice um and i, I just want to say thank you honestly so much for all the community um you're all amazing you, you literally all are amazing um sorry for the length of the video i just wanted to make a I just wanted to make a quick video and, and talk for a bit um and just really say thank you i suppose and here's here's to 2021 i'm gonna absolutely love it hope that you're looking as, as uh, looking forward to it as much as me in terms of trading opportunities bitcoin all-time high i mean this is absolutely brilliant um let's see if we can go fifty thousand dollars <laughs> thank you everybody so much from the bottom of my heart thank you thank you thank you thank you have a brilliant day have a brilliant week and enjoy yourselves cheers everybody thank you and goodbye